Well hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see it's another great day here in Hawke's Bay. If you haven't been on the channel before, I'm Goose and we're heading off for another adventure. This time we're heading up for a couple of days uh, camping. And uh, the first stop though, in at the Z Tahara for a bit of gas. But I've just spied a park over by the Industry Cafe. It's my favourite spot to, uh, when I'm travelling through Taupo, to uh, get a really good coffee and some really good food. So well watered and well fed, Esther's gassed up and we're heading north on Highway 5 and today we're heading back to the Bretts Road campground at Lake Aruru Fakaitu. Great little place over there you can see that's not a nuclear <laughs> power station, that is actually a geothermal one. So we've headed off the uh, main highway, got onto a couple of the back roads there and uh, just heading down to the lake. It's a great place to uh, pop in, it's actually a um, Department of Conservation um, campsite. Um, it's got uh, toilets, it's got a food preparation area, or area you can cook, and um, your water you get from the lake, and it is a place of absolute beauty. The trip up was a bit slow though, um, a lot of wind with a real southerly buster coming through as you can see there in the, uh, the foliage on the uh, trees, but we just uh, thought we'd pop into here and get a little bit of a, a sheltered area. I've got to say though, if you are travelling uh, in New Zealand um, or even around the, uh, the country if you are a New Zealander yourself, check the dock camps out, they're really good value for $10 a night. Oh, that's for, for this one, they do go up at the, um, the price does increase I think up to about $18 uh, depending on what campground you go to and how popular it is, but uh, they're good value. So this is my little corner of paradise, it's nice to see that, recently protected from that subbling, which is absolutely screaming through. Um, I'll see if I can get some Shots out on the water in the bay here is not so bad. Hang on, I'll just pan around. So very pleased to be in here and being nice and sheltered. Well I can't sit up. But it's about half past four I suppose in the afternoon, just having a cup of tea and uh, I'll wander around and uh, get some firewood shortly. But I'm um, pretty pleased with the site. It's going to be quite comfortable I think, reasonably sheltered and uh, we should be having a good time. Um, we've got some rain I think tomorrow morning. Might have a bit overnight, we'll see what happens. It is what it is, I'm not too worried about it. So uh, I'll finish my cuppa and go for a walk. Okay, so we'll have a wander down here. There's some, there should be some dead material about the place. That's a beautiful oak tree.
Well, I was going to have uh, some potatoes and uh, peas with that meat, but that is a lot of meat, so I think I'll just leave it at that. And I'll just put the, uh, the kettle on there, we'll get a cup of tea and a bit of uh, warm water to do the uh, dishes in. So I'll tuck into that and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay folks, uh, just about time for bed. Tea's well and truly over and um, pretty tired. It was quite a, a slow trip up today and uh, a few shots of the uh, sunset. But it's been a brilliant day, the amount of bird life um, that's been around. Even a few frogs croaking out there, so uh, we'll have a bit of a look tomorrow. Um, but apparently there's some really duty weather coming, so uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning again. I just finished breakfast, sitting out in the, the sun, just coming up over the trees. Uh, didn't think I'd get it first thing in the morning, I should have been a bit further down that way. But uh, it's the old sunshine I'm talking about, of course. But uh, finished breakfast, having a wee cuppa, and uh, Nice enough day, we didn't get the weather we thought we were going to get last night, so that may be still coming. The lake is quite high, uh, last time I was here you could walk right around the edges, now you can't, so um, there's some nice bush tracks to have a look at, so uh, that's what we'll be doing. Now today's verse comes from uh, Matthew, it's chapter 6 and verse 14. And that says, Your heavenly Father will forgive you if you forgive those who sin against you. But if you refuse to forgive them, he will not forgive you. And what he's getting at there is treating other people as you'd like to be treated yourself. Right, well tonight we're going to have uh, calzones uh, for dinner. So I thought I might take you through just what I do for them anyway. Uh, there's various ways of doing it. Um, I believe the real ones are supposed to have um, like a pizza dough around them. I've seen them done the way I'm going to do them with um, uh, wraps and uh, fill them up and uh, then um, fry them. And um, I suppose that's a bit like a taco. And I have actually made them um, with a bannock and put that out really um, uh, quite thinly, fill them up with some really nice stuff and um, put the, and just make them like a little pie, fry them up and they're really nice. But uh, I'll show you what we're going to do tonight. So we're starting off with a bit of salami, that's an Italian salami with the, it's the garlic um, it's supposed to be so you get half a dozen slices of 
salami. But for each one, I have, I'll have a couple of them. Five, six, and we get another six. Right, and the other thing I'm going to put in to them is um, some cheese, and I'll just do the base um, with a bit of tomato sauce. You could use passata, I guess, which would probably be nice. Um, but I've got some rats here, so we get those guys laid out. I was going to have these for lunch, um, but I was a bit tired, and um, but I oh, know I'll leave it till um, leave it for tea. And I had uh, cream corn for uh, for lunch, which was really nice, really tasty. So I was really pleased with that. So um, there's a couple there I'll do for lunch tomorrow before we get home. Right, so we've got those. Sit out there, get out the old tomato sauce. Give them a squirt. Spoon in there, back of a spoon is good to spread the stuff out with. Nowhere near enough. That's a bit more like it. Now put on your salami, but put it on one side only. Because remember you've got to fold these things over. And then on that I'm going to put some cheese. I've got some, um, I like smoked cheese. So this is um, natural sliced cheese which has been smoked and uh, yeah yummy yummies good one in the middle there on the side Closed over, you can see that, and then that one as well. And then I'm ready to go. So, what we'll do now, we'll fire the fire up and um, put them on. Looking forward to those because these are really, really, really tasty. Now in here I've got some um, fire starters, I've had these for years and I uh, find they're really really good, they're like a composite um, wood chip or something like that that's been soaked in some sort of accelerant Yeah, so that's caught up pretty good. We'll get the uh, pan on now, heat up. Give it a quick wipe out, a bit of ash in there. And 
and I'm just using a bit of sunflower oil. Sounds poached, doesn't it? <laughs> Right, in we go. There's dinner, bon appetit. I hope he realises my bacon and eggs are getting cold. Oh, good morning. Another beautiful day here, but the wind has been an absolute, absolutely diabolical. Um, hasn't let up the whole three days. So um, I'm going to go home um, before lunch. I was going to go home mid-afternoon, but um, there's not much point. The wildlife has hunkered down still um, in the sheltered places where I can't get to. So uh, there won't be much photography or video going on. But still, don't get me wrong, it's been a really, really good stay and um, really enjoyed it. The uh, sun's been out, so it's been warm. Uh, just that, that breeze has made things pretty difficult. But uh, I've just finished breakfast. Um, <laughs> yeah, you saw the old bacon and eggs again. I was going to have um, pancakes this morning. But uh, I thought, well, I might as well use that fresh stuff first. Um, I hate to see that go off, especially bacon. My word, you can't have that. So uh, take a bit of a walk around, last walk around, I think, and then start packing, packing it down. All right, so this is the track that heads out towards... Uh, the Ashpit Road campground and uh, it should take us round to that little point uh, so disappointed that we can't walk around the uh, the edge of the lake but uh, this is a nice little walk by the look of it Now this is on the first little point along from camp. 
And when I was here last, we could walk all up through here. That's all be flooded up. I don't know how much water has come in um, to lift the levels. It's got to be a couple of metres probably. We've had a look around, nothing left. Young lady there doing a great job cleaning up the grounds. So um, I'll be on my way. Sure the brakes off. blue fantastic day some uh, other people coming into camp so nice for me to be on my way home right so there it is another camp over and done with and a great camp it was too, just absolutely blown away by the amount of bird life. Uh, there's over 25 different species uh, that I counted, that I saw. There's probably a couple of others there that I didn't recognise the call from. Um, a little disappointing, as I've mentioned before, about not being able to walk around the edges. But uh, that's what it is, that's Mother Nature. You're out there, you're dealing with it, get on with it. But a great camp. Um, Absolutely lovely to be back at the Brett's Road campground. And just while we're uh, riding home, a big shout out to our new subscribers. Thanks for supporting the channel. Leaving a like, leave a comment, love to get back to you. So until we meet again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to ride free. And of course, God bless. <laughs>